Timer Pro offers a very efficient method to get your existing data into the line balancing module as quickly as possible. This is this option right here, user defined Excel worksheets. You can see here you can actually load up the Excel worksheets, bring it into the balancing module, perform your balancing and then send your data back out if you wish here. So I'm going to show you how to do this right here. It's very straightforward. You're going to come up here, you can do File, Import and you can do a new manual Excel sheet. You click on new manual Excel and it brings it up. There's some dummy data in here. And the idea here is it's very straightforward. Is you put in the task, you move over one column, down one row, enter your descriptives, then enter your times. An option to identify the value added, non value added components here. So if I want to say this was a company task, and I'm going to move over one column, down one row, and I'm cut and paste the data from your existing formats, whether it be Excel, Word, PowerPoint, whatever. So I'm just going to type in some data here. Get parts. You're going to organize. You're going to position. You're going to process. You're going to inspect. And you're going to aside. Then over here, you cut and paste your times. I'm just going to throw in some times here. And then you can optionally identify required non-value added and non-value added. Required is a capital R and non-value added is a capital N. Everything else that you leave blank is going to be assumed to be value added. So you need not define your value added components here. And you can see now if I go back up to the top, I identify whether I'm what unit of time I'm working in. In this case, let's say it's seconds. And I click on send to balance. And then I give it a couple of seconds. And here is my information. My company task is over here with all the data I've just input directly here and also color coded, value added, non value added. Again, you remember the color codes are done over here under the options, default colors. So you can set these up to your own particular needs here. So the, uh, the use of this Excel sheet gives you a very efficient way to get the data into the package very quickly. The last thing you'd want to do is you probably want to save it. So we recommend doing a file save as and then save it away into your uh, onto your network drive or your own drive in a logical place where you know you can pull it back up again if you need to um, to use it again here now once you get your data over here of course you can move things around any way you want so let's say i move my company task over here to task two and i'm going to take this place part and move it over here so i've reworked my um my process here and if you go back to the flowchart again, notice an option here to send it back out. This is this option coming out here. So to do that, I simply hit the right mouse button and I select the grid option. And that takes the current uh, process and puts it into a grid here. And from where I can export it to Excel and it sends it out to Excel. And it's exactly the same format. So you can see here, company, uh, the task name, move over one column, down one row. Here's the data. And here's the time and so forth here. Notice this time when a program generates, it does put a V in here because obviously it's very easy for the program to do that. You don't have to do that uh, here. And therefore you can make edits here in Excel or use it any other way you want for your own internal use. And finally, here's a, a complete process written out, more realistic in terms of the full descriptors and everything. You can see the data that's dumped out here for each of the steps in the process. And it's in here. All you have to do is send it to send it back into your uh, to the balancing module. Is click on the send to balance right here, and give it a couple of seconds. Don't forget to def define the unit of measure, and it will be sent out back into the uh, into the balancing module. Now we also had the request to make it easier to get time study data in here. And that's why we've got the time study data entry screen here. If I click on this tab down here, it will switch to the time study sheet here. Now this screen is designed specifically to make it easy for you to enter time study data. You can see here we've got 15 cycles defined. If I enter a value here, let's say the next observation was 10.5, right? As soon as I press the enter, it will recalculate the average time, apply the rating, and put the time in here. You can add your rating here. If you want to put 90 in here, you'll see it changing the level time here, right? And you can do that for as many different tasks as you want. So if you've got data coming directly from a manual time study sheet, it's very easy just to enter it in here, make your entries as you go across. So let's say it's with 13, 12.5, 12, 12.5, 12 and so forth. And you'll see the number being recalculated here 
as it moves through here. You can also identify whether it's value added, non value added, or required non value added. And you'll notice this particular area here, columns A through D, they're the same as on a training template. The one that most people seem to want to get to is send to the reporting. So if I bring up the flowchart here, this is actually taking the data from here and passing it right into uh, the time study area where we can do the reporting. So if I was to do this and I was to say send to reporting, now notice it's in seconds here. I click on the send to reporting, give it a couple of seconds. It's going to open up the uh, Excel sheet and it's going to port, put the data inside the raw data sheet. It's called manual underscore time. Now remember our times were in seconds. Now it's converting it to decimalized minutes. Why? Because it is um, uh, the times in the time study reporting are all in decimalized minutes. You can see task one, task two, three in task two, two in task three, two in task four, and it repeats again. What it's actually doing here, it's moving down the way in the sheet here. So what it's doing is actually taking the times here, going down this way all the way down to the bottom, then it starts the next one, and then the next one. And these values, because those are the different cycles, so it makes sense to copy it that way over into the uh, main sheet here. Go back to the main sheet here. You can see it's put them all in here. We go back to the main menu. We say generate reports, and we select the raw data. And then, of course, we get access to all of the standard time study reports that we have available in Time of Pro Professional. So you can start generating new reports more or less instantly directly from this lean analysis. You see it's creating the charts. And this is all based upon the data that you manually entered in the sheet here. So it's a very powerful and very useful way to get data into Time of Pro Professional from manual time study sheets very quickly.